All right, today we're going to be using uh, test lights to check LB valves. This machine is an SC30 MD2, but uh, you can do this on any machine with LB valves. The first thing you're going to want to do is check the valves themselves. The voltage is stamped right on the top of them. You want to make sure that the lights you're using are the same voltage as the valve. These particular valves are 110 volt. I'm using the same 110 volt light that's the on light for this machine. Uh, you can use LEDs or anything you can order off Amazon, but if you buy LEDs instead of regular incandescent light bulbs, you have to have the polarity right. If you use regular bulbs, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can do something as simple as this, a light bulb with alligator clips on it, and then attach one to every single valve. For the sake of this video, I made a, a back panel and clipped every single line into a valve, but it's basically one light to one valve. And I labeled them so I know which light goes to which valve, but as long as you can trace back your light to your valve, you're fine. So, rather than stand behind the machine with a voltmeter while it's running to try to figure out which valve is which, this way you can see those lights lit up, so valves C1 and C2 are open and filling it with those fish here. By doing it this way, you can run a machine through the cycle, and if it starts filling slow or sputtering, you'll know by the light which valve is active while it's doing that, and you can service that one valve rather than just replacing all of your valves every time you have problems. And then I'll advance this. You can see it it'll start switching between. This machine runs fine, but normally I'd be looking for it to start sputtering and then take care of the corresponding valve. And if you attempt to build your own and you use alligator clips, make sure you use the ones with the boots on them and that everything is clipped on firmly. These machines tend to shake and you really don't want a bunch of live wires popping off and shorting out in the middle of your test. That's how to check with lights.